言してくれもう斧を振れるような年じゃないんだ Even the dwarf is, is、uh, simply like, man, my bones are getting old too. I can't do this no more. Hey, everybody, welcome back to another Stone Face Reactions. I'm Theta, and despite what the overlay may say, I don't know if I'm correcting this in the future or not. That's not Griffin. Who are you? I am Justin. And tell us a little bit about yourself. Like, this is your first appearance here. Absolutely. I used to、uh, be involved with this channel a little bit before we became Stone Faced Reactions, but I'm、uh, now here to、uh, get an introduction into anime and have it be seen and hopefully bring people along on the journey. All right. And we are a, a show, but we're doing a show that I've wanted to do for a very long time. But I will also admit that I am a very different person from when I first saw the trailer. And put it up on the、uh, the polls for y'all to vote on and everything like that. I don't mean to dump here all of a sudden, Justin, but <laughs> I've been going through some shit. I am frazzled. I am depressed most of the time now. My AC is broken and it's very hot. <laughs> When life happens, it happens hard sometimes. I mean, lost my best friend for 10 years. So, but、yeah. I might, that actually might put me in a better position. To enjoy the show, and I know that doesn't make much sense for you, but I first thing I wanted to do here is to set expectations. And one that's the expectations coming from me that I might not be the same man I was when I when I first saw this trailer that we're about to watch before we watch the show,、mm -hmm. but I might actually be better set. And I guess the other thing to cover with you, I don't think I've ever, I've ever brought this up with you before. The reason why we're called Stone Face Reactions is when it was me and Griff, we're not good at showing the emotions on our faces. So, at best, I could be crying and you would just see this. Yep. No, I'll,、uh, at moments I'll bring the Stone Face, at moments I'll, I'll, show, I'll show a little more. Hey, if you're reactive, that's great. The reactive that I bring is vocally. I say things. That's all I've got. But,、uh, but yeah, just to explain that to anybody who's just dropping by the channel for the very first time, like, oh, Fearin, I want to see someone cry, or, you know, something like that. <laughs> that you might be seeing it and you just might not know it. Anyways, like I said, I think we should go into the trailer first because I have. This is also, unlike Full Metal Alchemist, Where I've seen the first 51 episodes with somebody else, have not seen anything of this other than the trailer. So I literally could not tell you anything. So that's why、you、it's best、it. for us to watch the trailer together. I get to re experience it after a couple months. You get to experience it for the first time. Hell yeah. All right. So I guess we should just go ahead and get into that then. ほどビーバーズ hit me again. Now I remember why I really want to watch it. The music definitely helps. Just off of visuals, it's going to be hard, hard to top Viking hat and an almost body length beard. I don't know, he's the one that takes me out of the trailer the most. Oh, yeah, Sobi is、uh, one that I know from Gundam. They did、uh, Witch from Mercury's ending. Or old things, I can't remember. 
フリーレン僕たちは確かに実在したんだきっと見つけられるそうだね Fun trailer. Uh, I don't know. I wouldn't say fun. I mean, what was your takeaway? What do you expect now that you've seen the trailer? It definitely gave epic adventure vibes. I could also see it going very dark very quickly in moments, in compared to the lighthearted feel of, of a lot of like, epic tales. You might be right about a lighthearted bit, but the thing is, what I know about the show from the trailer, and I guess the description of the trailer, is that the lighthearted bits that you're pointing out are kind of. How to put this? You know how in the beginning of the trailer he's、uh, saying,、uh, or you see the person being buried? Yeah. Apparently, that's the basis of the show. Is that these are people that saved the world. Like, they already went on the adventure. Love it. And that's why it ends with、uh, our time with you was like one tenth of your life. Because she's like a thousand year old elf that、so、she's going to live like for fucking ever. But she already went on the adventure. It's the fact that now all her old comrades are dying of old age. And. <laughs> You know,、That's、she has、better. to watch them all go away. She's like, I never spent time learning about you people. Sorry, I'm already choking up、it. a little bit. I love it. So I don't know if you didn't. I guess if you didn't have that little description bit beforehand, it could seem just like they're going on a little adventure. I picked up on it. I, what,、uh, what I grabbed from it was that we were going to get hit with those and then flashbacks to the, to the adventure. Yeah, that's probably what I would guess too. Because otherwise, I don't, I don't know where the lighthearted bits would come from. Otherwise, well, I think the very, the very basic description of the show was also that, like, before one of them dies, they give them an apprentice. Yeah, well, because. probably why we see all the younger kids. The, there, there could also be levity in the appreciation of the different moments of things that are reminders of the people as well. Back when this originally was released,、um, well, what I heard and what was actually true two different things.、Mm -hmm. They said that they were going to release a, like, a movie as the very first thing on like, a primetime channel for dramatic releases.、Okay. In, obviously, in Japan, not over here.、Yeah. Um, which was a big thing. It showed their confidence in what they had made. Well,、yeah. what it turned out to be was that they didn't, they didn't release a movie. They just released the very first four episodes all back to back. Okay. So, kind of different, but I mean, I guess it's effectively the same thing. And that's like a little under two hours of Fearing on release. I, I see why it's movie like, but yeah, kind of different is the best way to, to describe it. All right. Well. I mean, do you have any other thoughts before we actually get into it?、Uh, now that I've been told the, the,、uh, the base description from, of the trailer, hell yeah. I want to I, I see what horrible sadness they try and put me through. Yeah, like I already said, absence is the horrible sadness that I'm already facing, <laughs> and it's now going to be mirrored, I guess, in an anime to watch. Yeah. All right, well, I think we should go ahead and get into it.、Uh, but before we get started, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and comment down below to feed that algorithm. On top of all that, if you want to watch more shows like this, unfiltered, uncensored, and uncut, as well as some early access stuff, you can check it out over on the Patreon. It's just $5 a month, but hey, no pressure. It's all to support the channel, just a little bit extra. Intro song is fire. That's、yeah, good. I don't know if this was Yasobi or Yasobi was doing the outro. I guess I was just yeah, taking. Yeah, this is a little ditty. I guess I was just thrown by the Take On Me music video animation. Yeah.
No, the moment it started, my this guy got a little shoulder bob. This is also a lot of bright colors for something that's supposed to be sad. I like the I, I like what they're doing here. Well, I mean, yeah, because it might be the uh, contrast, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was the Sobi, okay. Because not knowing anything about the show though, just don't know what to Yeah to make of the things that I'm seeing yet. Hundred percent. Oh yes, yeah, right, Madhouse. They make good stuff, Madhouse. So again, based off all the character design, Viking hat and impossibly long beard is gonna be top the top for me. It's going to be tough. Ariel, where the souls rest. Mm -hmm. So I guess pages from her journal, maybe? That's what I'm thinking. And once again... The dwarf dude is the one who takes me out of it every time. <laughs> he looks like he's the one who doesn't fit with the world. So this is probably part of the journey. No, this this is post feeding. Yeah, but say he was saying it while you were saying it. Yep. Well, I mean, the name of the episode is at journey's end. Yeah. Beyond Journey's End. Well, I think that's that's the name of the show, Fear and Beyond Journey's End, but I think the name of the episode uh, is At Journey's End. Got it, got it. You know, that concept of, like, One Punch Man? Oh, you don't know One Punch Man. One Punch Man is the conceit that you start with the character already overpowered. All I know about One Punch Man is... That that uh, he, he's he loses his hair from working out too hard, and he and he's really strong. Crazy a story. Well, yeah, I was telling a story in the fireworks. They had a chapter That's name. It. Yeah. Yeah, no, this is setting up to do some damage if we're starting at the point where they're going to have statues made of them. Say the dwarf was actually a lot skinnier than I thought he was. What this is not that that sounds like a D and D party right there. Undead みたいな顔色してるけど大丈夫？ダメ。ダメか。週に一度はそうだったからな。その点私は優秀。ミミックに食われかけた時は置いてこうかと思ったぞ。ミミックスカドラバン。
It's very much just just feel like you know the wrap up session for the end of a campaign. Yep. でも楽しかったよ。僕は君たちと冒険ができてよかった。そうですね。短い間だったけどね。短い何を言ってるんだ。10年だぞ。ハイターを見ろ。すっかりおっさんになってしまったぞ。失礼ですよ。<笑> That's fun. Look at him. He's old. Such a wonder if the Demon King is ever going to come back. You know what? The fact that they mentioned the Demon King... He's clearly going to stay dead. De Demon Kings never come back. It could also be possible that one of those meteors isn't a meteor. No. <laughs> I actually meant in opposition to the fact that all of her companions are gonna die of old age, but if the Demon King is like another immortal, then it just might be a different perspective on the way yeah. she lives her life. That would be interesting. It could also be a case where the Demon King was actually trying to stop a bigger threat. That happens in a lot of shows, but I don't think this show feels like it's one of those. Elfの感覚はわかりませんね。全く。いつから生きているのやら。五十年も百年も彼女にとっては些細なものなのかもしれませんね。Lovely travel montage. I mean, it's a beautiful world. Oh, absolutely. It has space to breathe. It, it, it doesn't feel... Too much. Uchido Okay, so it's been 50 years. You, you, you gotta love that answer, too. Is this gonna hurt us? Maybe? I felt the heat off that one. And he shrunk. I mean, that's the thing that strikes me the most. Yeah. Well, is that the human or is that the dwarf? 
あと、魔王城で拾ったやつなんだ。暗黒竜の角だね。Because the heights closer to the dwarf. I'm assuming for the sake of anime that he hasn't changed the color of his outfit. So it's the same. Fair enough. I'm not sure what I'm doing. 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 僕にとっては大切な仲間から預かった大事なものなんだいつか君にこうして返すべきものだったんだShe really didn't even go back to see him. She went back to get the horn. Well, no, remember? They said in 50 years they'd see the,、uh, the era meteor shower, so it's been 50 years. Yeah. But then I guess that's the point, right? Is that she doesn't perceive time the same way, so it's not that she didn't come see him for 50 years, she just didn't notice 50 years have gone. Yeah. <laughs> エーラ流星にはまだ時期が少し早いと思いますがうんだからここから1週間くらい歩いてそんなに遠いのかまったく老人を酷使しよって懐かしいよそんなにベニューしているとあの時に戻ったかのようだ Somebody went to town on these backgrounds. I don't know what to do. I don't know But I guess the blue old guy was the warrior before, so. He's barely keeping up now. Yeah. Well, that would be the reality of being a human in any sort of space with elves and dwarves and all that. You would, you would live. The length of time that other races are in their prime, if not sh shorter. I think this episode is not going to end well for our bald old, bald old man friend. As I say it. <laughs> I mean, we both saw the trailer. We know what this is about. Yep. He, he, was, he, was, enjoying, he was enjoying the meteor shower too much. So no. ヒメル様の仲間なんだって悲しい顔一つしないなんて白状だねおやおや私たちもしていませんよ市長は真面目にやれこの白状もな大体ですな <笑>
って私この人のこと何も知らないし Should I be talking more about been choking up since the walk? Yeah. No, I can see it. I can see it. This is a very respectfully done funeral scene. Yeah, girl's going through it. では私も生徒に戻るとしましょう。二人とも顔をよく見せて、これで最後になるでしょうからね。どこか悪いの。長年の酒が祟りましてね。天罰だな。せいとによることがあったら、私の墓に酒でも備えてください。100%。And <laughs> And especially when you're the one going through it, you can talk like that. But if this is right after the funeral, ouch. マホシュシュの旅か。うん、それもあるけど、私はもっと人間を知ろうと思う。そうか。それで一つ相談なんだけど、私魔法職だからさ、強力な前衛がいると助かるんだよね。勘弁してくれ。もう斧を触れるような年
死なれる前に返しに来たうんでは一つ頼み事をん弟子を取りませんかフェルンには魔法使いとしての素質がありますあなたの旅に連れて行ってくれませんかごめんハイターそれだけはできない明日まといになるから実戦での見習い魔法使いの死亡率は知ってるでしょう友人から預かった子を七に送るつもりはないよ I don't try harder than... では別に頼むよ、yeah. ケンジャエビヒの墓所から出土したものですこの魔導書には今は失われた死者の蘇生や不死の魔法が記されているとされていますそんな魔法が実在するそれも含めて解読をお願いしたいのですできますか絵を使った暗号でしょこの時代の人はこういうのが好きだねまあ五六年もあればそうですかでもこんなの解読してどうすんのさ死ぬのは怖くないんじゃなかったの理由は二つあります<笑>一つはあなたたちの手前格好をつけていたからもう一つは前より死ぬのが怖くなったからまあ不死とは言わずほんの少しほんの少しでいいから時間が欲しくなったのですおお、夏。それに晴天には、健やかに生きようとあります。長寿はその最たるものですよ。It's not where I thought he was going with that. It also caught me. 解読の片手まで構わないので、フェルンに魔法を教えてあげてはくれませんか。私は、I see what he's doing. どうも勝手がわからないのです。まあ、そのくらいなら。He doesn't want the immortality. He wants her to take her on as, the, as an apprentice. That's just his way around it. Sagasnoga Tai Hendata. It's no more the Shigo Stayuno. Free Lane Samade, what I shall meet Skirinoga Tai Hendekosaimastaka. Sonsai Kanga, Sito. Haita Samakaramo Yoka Ivaremas. Totemo Yoikota de Kosaimasne. So done. I wonder what she is. Yeah. 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 このように魔力が離散してしまい届かないのですなるほどねどのような修行をすればよいのでしょうかねえ先に一つ聞いていい魔法は好きほどほどでございます<笑>私と同じだ Well, not where I thought that was going to end. Ooh, I liked that. That just means that we have more deaths in store for us then, since、yep. people are still alive. Yep. I think, I think the first point that's going to pop off the plot is going to be the priest's death. Well, I think. The plot has already popped off with,、um, God, I don't know his name now, and I feel bad for that. I mean, to be fair, that was her impetus too, not knowing yeah, enough we, about people. Exactly. Like, we never really got more than a couple mentions of it. Well, they, 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 a bunch of them had H names, right? They were all H names. Basically. But yeah, no, I mean, it's his death that popped everything off. That's why she goes on the, the trip to learn more about her traveling companions. 100%. But I think what's going to get her to take on the purple haired girl as, as a traveling companion 
is going to be the death of the priest. And I don't think I'm able yet to predict if it'll be natural causes or something else. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> Sorry, there's so many words there, it's hard to keep up with, and then... Sudden out-breath, <laughs> out-breath of emotions, like, I don't know what to say. Yep. No, that that hit on a correct level. That was that was good. Like I said, I feel I feel like I'm a bit off these days for for the shit. So I don't know if I don't know if I'm feeling things in the right way, but obviously it hit the way it was meant to hit. Yeah. I mean, what about you? Oh, <laughs> say? One one million percent. Well, no, I don't mean. Start. I don't mean and just it, about. It, yeah, go ahead. Sorry, I keep talking it, over you. It hit. It's all good. That definitely hit in the right spot. It hit the emotions of the paying attention to people when it's too late versus when you have the time. I think something I probably should have said before this started is that I find talking about the emotions of a show the hardest thing to do well of course well i mean i've always felt that i was like emotionally stilted like i don't know how to handle most emotions most of the time i'm just a bit mixing of being repressed and mm -hmm. i don't know the other part it's just i've never been good like i can't even vocalize feelings most of the time so i find shows that deal mostly with the emotions between characters to be the most difficult to talk about yeah. Because I don't even know where to start. Well, that's a lot of thing that a lot of people deal with as well, because the communication of emotions can often bring up emotions, which can then lead to, lead to more. I guess there's the, the difficulty there, because obviously we're here to watch anime, not to be therapists for one another. <laughs> so... 100%. Uh... But... but there's a reason why stories are told, and sometimes that reason is to, is to help people understand. Right. Well, for as much as I would love to, to keep talking about this, it's very clear to me that I feel like it spoke for itself, and then we spoke during it, because I don't see that there's much, much conversation we can keep going on about this. Million percent. I agree. All right. Well, I think we're going to wrap up the first episode here. Uh, thank you all for watching. I've been Theta. This has been Justin, to decide what the thing might say. <laughs> thank you for joining us. We will catch you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching another Stone Face Reactions. If you have an idea of another video we could go ahead and watch, go ahead and put it in the comments down below, and we'll add it to the wheel. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and let us know what you thought about this video and what parts you liked. And until then, we'll see you next time. Is this too goofy?